welcome back friends so in this video we are going to see a new technique a modification to your min max algorithm which is called as alpha beta cutoff or alpha beta pruning uh, in the last video we had seen what, what is min max algorithm and we had also seen an example how min max algorithm uh, solves a problem okay however there are some disadvantages with this min max algorithm the most uh, important disadvantage is that in min max algorithm all the branches whether a branch is fruitful or not fruitful all the branches have to be considered for computation so it's actually a computation loss maybe there is one branch from where down the line you will nowhere get the answer we never get the answer still you have to traverse that branch so this adds up computations okay so since entire tree needs to be considered for computation uh, the time complexity and the space complexity for min max algorithm is very high if you calculate complexity for uh, min max algorithm it is o b raised to d where b is the branching factor of the tree and d is the depth of the tree so what is the solution for this uh, disadvantage the solution is pruning the tree okay the branches in the tree that are unfruitful uh need not be visited they can be skipped so cutting off the unuseful or unfruitful branches in the tree is called as uh, tree pruning and to do this uh, the original min max algorithm is modified so that there are two uh, bounds which we are going to consider now there is something called as alpha bound and beta bound okay what is alpha alpha is the lower bound on the values assumed by the max player alpha is the lower bound on the values assumed by the max player okay which means at least alpha so if it is max player's turn of playing the game and for that max player node if the alpha value it say some x then all the other branches whose value is lesser than x okay will be unfruitful so they can be pruned similarly beta is nothing but it is upper bound on the values assumed by the min player okay so that means at most beta so whenever min player is going to play in min player's turn beta uh, value uh, suppose it is some y okay then all the branches whose value is lesser than that of uh, sorry is greater than that of beta those will be pruned so basically cutting or pruning will be based on these two parameters alpha and beta alpha will be reflected when it is max player's move and beta will be reflected when it is uh, min player's move initially alpha will be set to minus infinity because alpha is lower bound what is the maximum possible lower bound it is minus infinity similarly beta is the upper bound so what is maximum possible uh, possible upper bound it is infinity so minimum possible lower bound is minus infinity maximum possible upper bound is infinity so these are the initial values of alpha beta which each node will have okay so as we continue the computation at any point of time if for any node alpha its value is either greater than or equal to beta then other branches will be pruned so pruning will take place so we are going to consider this with respect to an example we are going to solve an example so that all this you are going to understand so let's quickly start with an example okay so uh, we have this particular tree okay uh, sometimes uh, for example okay box nodes represent max players and uh, round nodes circular nodes represent min player this is a notation used by one of the books it need not be always the same notation in some of the books they only use box nodes everywhere or usually they also use only circle nodes everywhere so these are different styles of uh, writing okay so here this is a tree that is given to us okay as you can see all the leaf nodes they have static evaluation function values which are listed right and uh, i have just labeled it as max mean for us to know it is whose turn so this is max player's turn mean player's turn max and mean player's turn at every point of time we are going to check 
whether alpha is greater than or equal to beta and if yes then the pruning is going to take place i am going to show you the pruning also remember although for every node there will be alpha and beta values associated but if it is a max player then only the alpha value will change okay and if it is a main player then only beta value will change okay so it is basically a depth first search procedure so from the root node it is going to the leftmost uh, child then from here to the leftmost to the leftmost okay and then it is going to solve this then it is going to solve this and after solving this full branch then it is going to come here and then it is going to solve this then this then here and so so basically it's a depth first search fashion uh, solving so uh, as a, as in when i solve as i solve i will explain you what is happening so initially for the root node alpha is minus infinity and beta is infinity i have just initialized alpha and beta similarly okay but root node the leftmost child is there here for this also alpha will be minus infinity and beta will be infinity but this is not the leaf node so the leftmost node here its alpha will be minus infinity beta will be infinity and this is also not the leaf node so come here alpha will be minus infinity beta will be infinity although this is not the leaf node but in the next level you have the leaf node so we need to now calculate what are the new values of alpha beta for this node and you uh, go uh, upwards okay so as in when i solve i will just let you know what i do okay let's start now notice that although each node has alpha and beta okay but for a mean node mean players node okay beta is associated with uh, mean that means if it is a mean players turn then only beta will change its value and alpha will remain the same similarly for max player only alpha will change its value beta will remain the same here beta will change its value alpha will remain same here alpha will change its value beta will remain same okay so let us start okay now since this is a mean player mean node what will change is beta so we are going to now calculate what is the new value of beta now beta beta is associated with mean so it is minimization the aim of the minimization player is what mean player is to choose minimum so we are going to now find out what is minimum out of infinity and 10 it is 10 correct what is minimum out of infinity and 10 so it turns out to be 10 correct then we are but this is not the end there is also another node so then we are going to compare what is minimum out of this 10 and this 5 it is 5 correct so beta value for this node is 5 why because it has just considered the minimum value among this infinity 10 and 5 so it is 5 now once a particular node is considered or calculated its value may change its value may not change but the change whatever it is has to be reflected to its parent okay so now we have to calculate what are the values for the parent node this node from here okay so when you go to the parent node it's a max node so alpha will change beta will remain the same so let us recalculate the value of alpha now alpha is associated with maximization so what is maximum out of minus infinity minus infinity and 5 what is maximum out of minus infinity minus infinity and 5 maximum is 5 correct so alpha value here is 5 yes now since uh, and beta will remain the same now since uh, the changes have happened to this node uh, remember this whenever uh, you have a child node of a parent node whatever are the changed values of alpha beta they will be simply copied to the child node so copying will happen from parent to child to child to child but copying will not happen from child to its parent copying will happen from top to down but not bottom to top okay 
so uh, alpha is 5 and beta is infinity the values will be copied here okay so now for this node alpha will be again 5 and beta will be infinity yes I have simply copied the value of alpha and beta next we are going to con consider now since this is a mean only beta will change alpha will remain the same so we are going to find out beta means minimum so what is minimum out of infinity 7 and 11 the minimum is 7 okay the minimum value is 7 so the minimum value here uh, okay out of uh, infinity 7 and 11 it's 7 so the value reflected over here is 7 but this changes have to be again reflected to its parent so as a result now the parent node here is a max node so value of alpha can change so I need to now find out what is maximum out of 5 5 and 7 the maximum is 7 so the value of alpha here becomes 7 right the value of alpha here becomes 7 from 5 it changes to 7 now whenever there is a change happening to the child node it has to be reflected in the parent node the parent node is a mean node parent node is a mean node okay wherein beta will change alpha will not change so now I need to find out what is minimum out of 7 infinity and infinity so minimum is 7 so beta here will be now 7 ok beta here will be 7 so this beta value will be then copied to the child node so this alpha and beta values will be copied to the child node so we copy this values as it is here ok so alpha for this node will be minus infinity beta for this node will be 7 and the values will be copied from parent to the child so this value will be copied here also alpha here will be minus infinity beta here will be 7 ok so now uh, since it's a mean uh, node it's a mean, mean level node the value of beta will change alpha will not change so we are going to find out what is minimum out of 7, 12 and 8 minimum is 7 so the value will not change ok now when I recalculate it over here okay we are going to now find out what is alpha okay because it's a max player what will change for max player is alpha so now we find out what is maximum out of minus infinity minus infinity and 7 so minus infinity minus infinity 7 maximum is 7 so alpha gets changed to 7 agreed so we have only considered this branch and for this branch of this node alpha is 7 beta is 7 and whenever alpha and beta both get some numerical values you need to always check this condition ok please note here also alpha and beta had got numerical values but I had considered see I had not told you but it is very simple here alpha was lesser than beta and that's why there was no pruning required and that's why I did not tell you also but whenever alpha and beta get some values numerical values every time you check this condition now here alpha was less than beta so this condition was not satisfied but here now after reaching here from here you see that alpha is 7 beta is 7 so is alpha greater than beta no but uh, is alpha also equal to beta yes okay so alpha is equal to beta so whenever this condition is satisfied like this case you have to prune prune what this branch we have already considered whatever remaining branches are there for this node all those branches will be pruned so this branch will be pruned so you need not consider any any element of this subtree they are all unfruitful understood now whenever there are changes happening to a child node it has to be reflected to its parent node and parent node is uh, it's a mean node so what will change is beta so again you calculate what is minimum out of 7 7 and 7 it is 7 so the thing is it remains same okay let's go beyond now 
for the root node so this branch is already considered this branch is also con already considered so i go to the parent now here alpha is minus infinity and beta is infinity so uh, since it's a max level node alpha will change so you find out what is maximum out of minus infinity minus infinity and 7 so you will realize that 7 is maximum so alpha is 7 now all the child nodes of this parent node will uh, the value will get copied of alpha and beta so this is a first child so here the alpha will be 7 beta will be infinity the leftmost child here its value also will be the same alpha will be 7 beta will be infinity this is the leftmost child alpha will be 7 beta will be infinity right and actually the values should get copied for this one and this one also but whenever time comes that time i will copy if required okay because it is the first search i'm going leftwards 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 then i will go to right then root and so on okay so after reaching this node fine now this node over here it's a mean node so what will change is beta and alpha will remain the same so now beta we need to find out what is minimum out of infinity 5 and 12 what is minimum out of infinity 5 12 it is 5 so beta here changes to 5 and i just told you whenever any node for any node you get alpha and beta as numeric values you always consider this is alpha greater than equal to beta is 7 greater than 5 yes so the condition is satisfied right so for this branch the condition is satisfied that means this remaining branch and any other branches which are there will be all pruned okay now after considering this we have to recalculate the value of this node fine so this node is at max level right so what will change is alpha and beta will remain the same so alpha so what is maximum out of 7 7 and 5 it is 7 only so no change no change will be done okay now the value of this node will be now copied to the child node here because i always told you parents values are copied to the child so alpha 7 beta is infinity will be copied here yes now here also since it is at mean level what will change is beta and alpha will not change okay so now you find out what is minimum out of infinity 11 and 12 11 is minimum so beta will be now 11 again check is alpha greater than beta no so there is no pruning that is going to happen but the changes have to be reflected to the parent okay so parent is a max node so now you find out what is maximum out of 7 7 and 11 okay what is maximum out of 7 7 and 11 it is 11 so alpha here becomes 11 okay now for this particular node okay which is a parent of this we have to again consider now since it's at mean level what will change is beta and alpha will remain the same so you need to now find out what is minimum out of infinity 11 and infinity minimum is 11 so beta here becomes 11 now this is a par parent node the value of parent node gets copied to the child node so for this node here alpha will be 7 beta will be 11 then to the leftmost child I'll consider first alpha will be 7 beta will be 11 and this I will write later fine so this is max level so what should change is alpha this is mean level so what will change is beta so I am currently present here the value of beta can change so now you calculate now you calculate what is minimum out of 11 9 and 8 it is 8 so beta value here will be 8 okay so since the beta value here has changed become 8 so the things should be reflected to the parent okay and parent it's a max node so alpha will change so you need to find out what is maximum out of 7 7 and 8 maximum is 8 so this becomes 8 yes so 
is 8 greater than 11 no alpha is not greater than beta so this part will not be proven will be considered for further calculation now since this is a child node of this parent the values of alpha beta will be copied to the child so you will see alpha is 8 and beta here will be 11 okay since it is at the mean level what will change is beta what will change is beta and now you find out what is minimum out of 11 7 and 10 it is 7 again you have got numerical values is alpha greater than or equal to beta yes 8 is greater than 7 so since this is happening apart from the first child whoever are the other branches will be pruned so this will be pruned so uh, so this is the end so this is uh, uh, mean max uh, the alpha beta uh, pruning uh, which is an addition to the mean max it's a modification to the mean max algorithm and this is how the branches can be pruned so that now uh, when the computer is doing the calculation uh, uh, is playing the game computer will avoid or it will not at all consider this branch it will not at all consider this node and it will not at all consider this particular node okay so that the unfruitful branches will be skipped as if these branches are not there okay so this is a simple method of alpha beta pruning thank you